event, it almost doesn't matter who's there and who you're with. The first question out of most people's mouth is, what are you working on? Not how are you? How are your kids? How's your mom? How was your vacation? Anything. No, 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 no. What are you working on? What are you working on? This is the question which I myself try not to ask. So I'll tell you what I'm working on. <laughs> So in 2010, back when the iPad was created, my husband was on a plane from New York to San Francisco. And he was sitting next to a guy who was like, hey, how do you like your iPad? I'm thinking of getting an iPad. How, how's the iPad work? And they're talking about the iPad, talking about the iPad. And suddenly my husband says, you know, my name is Don, introduces himself. And the guy next to him says, my name is Fred Hirsch. I'm a jazz pianist. There's a really great article about me in the New York Times. You should read it. <laughs> and then he takes a nap. And so Don, on his like very exciting iPad, reads the article. And when he lands, he says, my wife is a documentary filmmaker. You should meet her. And Don comes home, and he's like so excited. He's met this amazing jazz pianist. There's this amazing article about him in the New York Times, and on and on and on. And I look at him, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm interested. <laughs> No, 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 you really should meet him. You're going to New York in a few weeks. Just, just, just meet him. He's a really nice guy. He's like, read the article, read the article. So I read the article. It's pretty interesting. So I'm thinking about it a little bit. So let me tell you about this jazz pianist. The jazz pianist is Fred Hirsch. Has anybody ever heard of Fred Hirsch? He is not a household name. But he is an elite jazz pianist. In jazz circles, he's considered one of the kind of giants among us at the moment. He's got eight Grammy nominations and 30 plus albums under his belt. He was a child prodigy. He's gotten every fellowship and recognition that one can get kind of in the jazz world. So in jazz circles, if you say Fred Hirsch, it's like, oh, Fred Hirsch. That's kind of cool, semi-interesting, but it's not like the stuff of a documentary film. It's not a story, right? It's a subject. And when I'm thinking about what am I going to work on, I really like to think about infomercials. What's the hallmark of an infomercial? <coughs> But wait, there's more. You're not going to just get this set of knives, this really good set of knives. You're going to also get this tomato peeler, and this dicer, and this slicer. Wait, 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 there's more. And I kind of think about story that way, that I want to feel like, but wait, there's more. So now we have this elite jazz pianist, Fred Hirsch, right? That's OK. OK, my husband met him. That's cool. But wait, there's more. In the early 1990s, Fred Hirsch was the first openly gay, openly HIV positive jazz musician. It was a huge story. It kind of seems like no big deal now, but back then it was a huge deal. CNN did a story, and the LA Times did a story, and Terry Gross did a story. So Fred, tell me about it. <laughs> 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 huge, huge, huge deal. And so that's kind of interesting to me. You might be seeing a pattern in my like, work here. But that's like kind of interesting, right? It's like, that's OK. But wait, there's more. In 2008, Fred Hirsch was in a two-month coma. Think about that for a second. Coma, two months. It was medically induced. He had infection all through his body. To save his life, they put him in a two-month coma. That's interesting. Most people who are in a two-month coma, as I understand it, like 50% of them don't survive. You just, you do not survive. For the other 50%, generally speaking, you don't come out of it unscathed. Maybe you have paralysis. Maybe uh, you have brain damage. Maybe you've lost some sort of function. But Fred Hirsch comes out of it pretty much unscathed. He lost a vocal cord when they did an intubation, but otherwise, some people say he plays better than ever. Hmm. Now that's kind of fascinating. But we've got a problem here, because by the time we meet Fred Hirsch in 2010, all this has happened in the past. So what am I going to do? Sit him at the piano and let him tell us about, well, the time I came out, and oh, the time I was in a coma, and oh, I was a child prodigy, and it's kind of like, what am I going to see? What are we going to show? We have to show something. I can't just show this guy sitting at the piano. So finally, when we agree to meet in New York, and we go to his place in Soho, and he lives right above Uniqlo in Soho, if you've ever been there. Um, and uh, he's been there for much longer than Uniqlo, by the way. Um, we're talking, and I'm, 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 I'm expressing, I'm saying, you have an amazing story, and your music is incredible. And like everything I read about you says you're, you're a, a giant among us, but like, what are we going to show? He says, well, I'm about to start rehearsals in like a few weeks on this big theatrical piece I'm doing. It's got an 11 person ensemble, and there's an actor singer, there's a librettist and a director. I mean, it's a big theatrical production. And it's about the dreams I had when I was in my coma. 
When I woke up, I remembered a series of dreams, and I could not get them out of my head. And initially, I was just going to do a suite of music. But I started kind of telling people about it, and people got really kind of engaged, and there was a director who wanted to direct it, and a librettist who wanted to, to write the libretto. And so now, we're doing this big theatrical piece called My Coma Dreams. That's the book. Wait, there's more. <laughs> From 1999, you'll buy it. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. Yay!
machine on now. I wouldn't be 
into the relationship. Push 
talking about how happy they are with the snack, no slicer. Oh, no. Slicer. 